Hey coach, I'm so excited you found us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe down below, hit the bell up above because we put new stuff out just about every day. Also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking for resources, if you're looking to become a better coach, if you're looking for a not messy basement, uh, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. You will not be disappointed. Have a great day, coach. Another one of our favorite things to do at practice is work on drills where we have no dribble. So, uh, or especially early in the season, uh, over dribbling, huge issue, every team, every level. Uh, how, are, how do we work on that? You know, we every guy that's came in playing in the summer, playing AAU, whatever it is, they're dribbling the catch every single time. We don't want to have a 10 or 15 minute segment on it, but when we're doing our small sided game stuff, this can be a constraint that we put in. Uh, it's not something we're going to spend 10 or 15 minutes on usually, but working on footwork here, stressing, passing, duality of a drill. We switch a lot of screens, so we can also work on our switching here. I can say, hey, this offense is working on this, defense this. Uh, we can do this three on three, four on four, five on five. Plus, we could do it in a lot of the advantage, disadvantage drills we do. Even if we were going five on three, we could say we're playing with no dribble here. And then we're talking to guys or afterwards like, hey, what did you see? What was hard? What was easy? How did you have to pivot? How did you have to do certain skills that we are bringing into a game instead of doing it into, on, on air? We've got a drill here that we're doing it in. Um, defense, usually starting with the ball, we can go for any position. You can see we're working on a switch there at the same time. Not great ball movement here, but it's early in the season. We're learning like a lot of these drills that I've shared. We want, uh, when we are doing this, we don't want to stop practice for a long time. You know, we might be talking while they're setting up in the next group. We have an extra player here. We have seven. He's rotating in. Great time for myself or another coach to say something. But we don't want to slow down reps. Here, you know, we see not open, not a great cut. But then we have what we call a second cut. They deny the pass, cut to the rim, something we're getting a rep of without having to do a backdoor drill. You know, that would be one where I'd really probably put that even in a video of like, hey, that's a great point. Look at this second cut you applied in a drill without having to do a backdoor drill. The pace of this one's not great. Like I said, it's early in the season. It would get a little bit better as we're getting more reps of it. And ugly is not necessarily a bad thing because we're worried about learning, getting better, you know, playing without the dribble something we're going to have to do even if we're a dribble drive team we've got to be able to pass the ball without using the dribble hey coach so glad you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and like second all go check teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better let me help you put banners and stuff in your gym and become a nationally ranked coach win more games in less time teachhoops.com is a community that will allow you to do that go over and check it out and go check the next video out bye